Hi everyone, so today is um, 18 weeks, well tomorrow technically, but um, I finally got uh, a gender ultrasound that was accurate or had an actual gender to tell me. Um, it took three times, the first one I paid for, the second one I paid for again, and the third one she did for free since she's never had anybody come and not be able to tell the second time. So three times and we found out it is for sure a girl. She has the three lines, the hamburger, whatever they call it. Um, so we're super excited, and Friday I had my anatomy ultrasound, and it was really quick. Um, the text didn't really say anything about the legs, that's the belly, that's the head, that's the spine, and it was over. Um, so, yeah, I finally got that. Um, other than that, like symptoms and stuff, I'm going to say I'm not as tired, but maybe I'm just drinking more coffee. I have about, I have one coffee a day, sometimes I'll trade it in for tea, but, um, uh, what else? Still eating salads, um, starting to crave bread, which is unfortunate because I would rather crave salads than bread, so I'm just watching how, what I eat as far as bread wise. If I have a sandwich one day, I'll time to have one for a few days or whatever. Um, and also I wanted to tell you guys about this really great product that I found. It's called Pavonia. And it's a um, facial cleanser. It's clear. It's not scented. It has no chemicals in it. Um, I found this at the spa that I go to um, for my waxing and stuff. And I had been, she was doing my eyebrows, and I said, "No, I think I need a facial. My face is just so broken out. It's been like this since I got pregnant before I even knew I was pregnant." And um, she, the, my esthetician, was telling me that she had really bad breakouts, and she started using this product that they carry at the salon or at the spa and that it uh, worked really well for her so I thought $30 you know I'll try it it's natural I didn't want to go and buy proactive or something with chemicals in it that I could have a reaction to because I have really sensitive skin um, so I've been using it for about a week now and she told me to use it twice a day morning and night and most of the time I want to say like three out of five days I'll do it twice sometimes I just am too tired and forget or whatnot um, but I've noticed a huge difference I don't wake up and find new blemishes or feel one coming in. Um, the ones that I have are definitely going away and getting better. My skin tone is more even. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I'm going to see if I can comment a link. I don't know if they have a site for this particularly, so if you're interested in it, I can pick it up and ship it to you. Um, if I can't find a website. If I can, I'll comment comment and leave a link but that's what it looks like it's a little it's heavy though I mean it says it's only 0.5 ounces but I've used it all week and drip some when I'm in the shower and it still feels brand new um, they also have moisturizers and I just got a sample because I have a few different lines and this one is the spa team for all skin types it's really little and it's not bad. It's got a little bit of a, like, melony scent to it. Um, I prefer unscented moisturizers. The girl had told me to moisturize because if you don't moisturize, even if you have oily or dry skin, especially either one, if you don't moisturize, your skin overcompensates and will bring out more oils, which then in turn makes more breakouts. So, been moisturizing. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. I mean, with the first day, I had like this huge blemish coming in right here and I could feel it was one of those ones that like hurt and um that's that was about the second second day that I had the, the blemish coming in I started using the product and instantly like when I woke up the next morning I couldn't feel it it had started to go down the color you know was more normal um this one's not gone all the way but it's newer so um other than that um, my two-year-old is really cute. I took him to see a girlfriend baby who's about 12 weeks now and he was so sweet and just wanted to hold the, hip, the little girl and it was really cute. So it like made everything more exciting. Um, we went and picked up a couple of little things. I'm going to do a quick baby haul after this um, and show everyone what I picked up. And um, talking about names, um, I like Aubrey, Adele, Aria. Um, and Bria. The only one out of those that my husband is somewhat okay with is Bria, so we'll see how it goes from here till January. 
Um, what else? Um, I think everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, somebody had messaged me asking if I would talk about gas in my next video. So, I'm not going to be shy and I'm going to tell you guys, like, yeah, I get gas. I never really had a problem with it until I'm pregnant. I remember in my first pregnancy, my husband had commented, you know, I don't think I ever, like, I don't think you ever farted around me until you were pregnant. And I kind of realized, like, yeah, I, I just... I'm not a gassier person. I guess I belch more than I toot or whatever. So, um, it is definitely something that I, it is a common symptom, like super common. So, yeah, I do get gas. I kind of know what brings it on for myself. Like, I know if I eat spicy food or Mexican food, I'm going to have it. So, I, like, plan not to go out anywhere or whatever. Um, and just kind of avoid things that will turn it on because if I, if you get, gas to a point where it hurts and you get the gas pains and the cramps and the bubbles and it's not you know it's not worth eating those foods so and drinking a lot of the more water I drink the less gassy I seem to be well not necessarily but you know if I eat wings and have a ton of water I'm still going to be gassy so um it's just one of those glamorous parts of pregnancy um I'm definitely showing like showing showing I mean not it's still like People don't comment me like, oh, what do you do? Because it's so that awkward stage where you're like, oh, is she just, you know, a little heavier? Does she just have a baby? Um, but, like, my family's all excited about my cute little bump. And um, I also, my phone's What are you doing? You want to say hi? Say hi. Come over here. Hi. You got to come up here. Hi. A ball. I saw you ball. This is my two-year-old. His name is Aiden. Can you say hi? Hi. He just got his hair cut today. <laughs> um. Oh, I did purchase a. I have my belly button facial pad at Pierce since I was about fifteen. Hi, honey. And I did purchase on Amazon a maternity belly button ring, which basically means it's made out of a flexible uh, material. What baby? Uh -huh. you, are you all done? Uh -huh. Okay. Don't pull it. Here. Um. Anyways, so I have that in because I'm afraid that I've had my belly button pierced twice. So because of the scar, I can't get it re-pierced re -pierced a third time. And I'm kind of afraid if I had a ring in it, it would move forward. And if I didn't have a ring in it, it would close up. So um, I think I paid like 2 or $4. I paid more to ship it than I really did for the ring. Hi. Hi. But if you go to it, I couldn't find one in the mall. And whatever. So I have... One of those. Mama. Um, Mama. What? Can I have a kiss? Bro. Can you blow a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get him settled in. There's my 18-week <laughs> my 18 week update. Everything is going good. I do have a little bit of what I think is round ligament pain. Um, I started getting some cramps and pain in my hips, so I got another chiropractic adjustment. Um, yeah, but I think that's pretty much it. So... Comment any questions you guys have below or message me. And like I said, I'm going to try and find a link for that Mama. facial cleanser and post it below. So, yeah. anyways, I'm going to be filming um, the short little baby haul and what I picked up so far. So, I'll talk to you guys in a couple weeks. Yeah?